we had a uh, failure to eject there. Still locked in on the follower. All right, guys, we just had a successful 175 rounds through the uh, Chiapa Pac-9 pistol. Got, like I said, I got it back from them. Took about three weeks to get it repaired. Uh, they peened that firing pin uh, into the bolt and bolt carrier. So I'll, I'll give you a shot of that as soon as I'm able to break that down here for on camera for you. But uh, we only had, a, a, I think, two or three different failures. It was on the steel case ammo and it didn't eject. Essentially, it was kind of like a, a stove pipe sticking out this way. The other th issue that I noticed is that it, did, like, it does come with the uh, 
uh, Beretta M92 surplus magazine, so the, the follower is a, a little bit chewed up on them as it comes out of the box. And there is one particular magazine that I have where the last round will not hold open on that follower. And I'm guessing that's mainly because it's just chewed it up really good. And I'll give you a shot of that as well here. So overall, really happy with it. Uh, my adapter here is probably a little bit loose. I kind of showed somebody on the range there and I don't know if I popped it in all the way. So, But uh, they're, they're really easy to get on and off with that paddle here, which you normally release the AK magazine with. Uh, you can pop this adapter off, put that Glock adapter on. I haven't seen if anyone has received one of those Glock adapters yet, but it is obviously on my wish list, so I'll end up picking one up if I'm able to find one at a reasonable price. I think they're around $30, and I'm not expecting them to go up much further than that. So, uh, But really happy with it, guys, here. Uh, got it back from Chapel. Works really well. Like I said, 175 rounds so there about through it. Uh, we had a little bit of extra ammo that was brought to us by the Range Master here. It's some Federal, so it was a little bit nicer stuff compared to what I was using, which was that uh, WA, WPA Performance as well as the WPA Classic. And uh, I also bought one box of brass because it was reasonably priced and Fiocchi or however you want to say that. But uh, everything ran really well except for a few rounds of that steel case stuff. Here is my target, and this is, in, uh, this is kind of more towards the end of the range trip, and that, that pistol does get heavy as you're holding it out there. It's a pretty hefty little pistol, so uh, I'm sure that has something to do with my uh, poor shot as well here, and as you guys know, I don't have the best shot in the world any, anyways, but uh, that top head shot there is 10 yards, and it's pretty much rapid fire is what I consider rapid fire, but uh, you know, a continuous string without really getting a good sight picture on your target as you're shooting, and uh, that'll give you kind of a good idea as far as you know, how you're able to get a target placement and uh, sight acquisition as well as uh, follow-up shots on a target without much effort. Uh, the bottom part here is 20 rounds, uh, or I'm sorry, 20 yards and 20 rounds on that target there. And as you can see, that's that's more uh, just shooting at, at will there, not really uh, any type of rapid fire succession, but uh, decent grouping there. Not a bad grouping, you know, for a pistol, a 9mm at, at 20 yards, holding that thing out there, that, that's not too bad. That's definitely kill shots and it will do a good job for whatever you're using it for, recreational or defense or whatever the case is, uh, those, that, that string of shots will work for me. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll bring you in closer and give you a little bit of breakdown on that gun. Okay, so just to kind of pop off the uh, dust cover here to get to the inside to show you guys, what we'll do is kind of first safety check it to show you that it's clear. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop off the dust cover. It is a flip hinge open kind of dust cover operation, which is nice. Uh, we have the recoil spring, which is standard with most AKMs. Nothing unusual there, except maybe that it's a little shorter than what you're used to, as well as a... This is a little bit different from what you'll find in a normal AKM, but it, because of it's a blowback pistol design, they have a, a kind of a shorter stroke on it, and they just use this little buffer here. And I have an AKT-98 Romanian trainer, which is a 22 uh, AK variant, which ha kind of has the same exact buffer in it. So this isn't uh, a, prop a proprietary part that I'm aware of. Uh, you can actually find these uh, in a few different other variants as well. And then on the inside here, we have the uh, bolt carrier and bolt which is a one-piece design and uh, if you remember correctly or if you remember on my last video what had happened is this spring-loaded firing pin here popped out essentially uh, while I was doing uh, some test or function testing on it and the reason that it had done that is because there's a little pin right here which holds it in place because it is spring-loaded they, they do need to retain that in there and uh, what they had done to repair this in order for it to stay in place and hopefully you guys can kind of make that out but on both sides of that firing pin retaining pin they just peened a little bit just to hold that guy in place there and like I said I put around 60 rounds through it and haven't had any problems as you can see it's still holding in there it's flush there isn't any kind of uh, loosening up of it or anything like that uh, the bolt face there is nice and clean actually after the number of rounds that we put through it so real happy there I was getting really good primer strikes there wasn't any over over strike or under strike or anything like that uh, especially with the uh, Tula ammo which can have a, a primer that's seated a little bit further into the uh, case itself so that's kind of nice and uh, just to give you kind of a view then of the fire control group and I do believe it's a standard AK fire control group so you'd be able to replace that or uh, do that you know whatever you want with that as far as replacing it or adjusting it you know polishing it up making it a little bit more crisp I'd usually just let my uh, triggers break in unless it's uh, a really bad trigger, in which case I'll go in there and kind of do some filing and dremeling and polishing, things of that nature. But uh, the rails really work well. The action works well. 
I did have a couple small malfunctions with some steel case Tula ammo. Uh, I think out of the 60 rounds I had two that were just kind of stove piped out, just didn't get kicked out there. Uh, and it could just be an underpower issue because of the blowback design. Not really sure on that, but overall it wasn't anything that I was very concerned about, that's for sure. Uh, but overall everything is really holding together nicely. It operates well, the action is nice and smooth, and uh, it's actually a pretty, pretty darn accurate pistol for what it is. The only thing that I'll say is that it does get a little bit heavy, being that it is a, uh, a pistol, and uh, you know you got a lot of weight on this thing, especially towards the front because it's a lot of a bolt there, but uh, overall not too bad. I mean, if you're sitting there shooting off uh, you know, 100, 200 rounds, you're certainly not going to have a problem with it. If you're out there with 500 rounds, it might get a little heavy holding it out there towards the end.